we see here a landscape which is very flat and very deep green, fresh green, and it's really cultivated, so it's created by humans. I think it's interesting to uh, look around the nature, look around this landscape and to integrate the landscape in my work. I had two words which I found very interesting to work with and that is artifact and soulship. Uh, soulship mm, means to me a ship uh, used for dead people, deceased people, to take them to a new life, another place. And I could feel there was a place for a kind of ship like that. So the idea for me was uh, this is something that is already dead. It's not exist uh, landscape. Uh, the first one and second is to break this uh, landscape uh, level. So I need uh, in the same time something to break the eye. That means to to to, to produce something like a hills uh, and the, and, the, and, the, and the same time together to be like a memory to someone. Straight as I heard the landscape as a memory, I thought uh, uh, the big question of existence and not existence. So I, I thought to make a, something like a monument, a holy place for the writers and poets that uh, suicide themselves. Uh, I chose uh, a trunk of tree. Uh, because I believe that uh, an artist that speaks uh, or uh, makes art in front of a tree or using a tree, always uh, telling the truth, is honest against himself and the others. I look the airplane window, the Netherlands scene, straight canal, straight load. Of course, so the, it looks like Mondorian's picture. I made the uh, building, uh, two books. Né? Then separate the old type, modern type. People look the black focus, only one window. It's so the big image of the camera obscura and people look the window and uh, behind side so look the skeleton flame I think art is uh, it belongs to everybody and uh, having an art in a landscape is uh, also for everybody and it's also for uh, the land is a gift to the land place the landscape and uh, to the land itself. I will make a, a paraplu boat standing on uh, the top of a tree. And I was inspired by a meteor, which uh, is a, a very old region in Greece, where there are big stones on the middle of a landscape, and there are monasteries on the top of them. Well, uh, first I uh, create a body of uh, clay, then I make uh, a skelet from iron, and then I create it uh, further, so uh, the body will um, surround this uh, skelet. And then uh, I put wax on it. I think the quality of these little creatures are that they're not very big, and they're a little bit sneaky, and they uh, react on the landscape. Our country got the big earthquake 
in France, a nuclear disaster. Now, nuclear disaster is not only finished last year, it was continued to many, many years. So I used to delicate material and uh, many uh, drawing by machine uh, made to framing and big frame inside there, it's okay. I feel wonderful. When I'm in the nature and I work, I feel wonderful. And I believe that uh, I didn't say this. Uh, Fernando Pessoa said, have said this, that uh, all, our all our life we try to make art and uh, what we really want to do is to live. So art and live is, uh, living is uh, the same thing for me. So I lived good there. I lived good.